What's happening guys? Pete from Pete's Pesting. I'm really excited to bring this video to you guys. I've got a, uh, a pretty unique opportunity coming up with PARD USA. If you guys are familiar with PARD Night Vision, they're really big over in the UK. A lot of pesting guys are using them over there. Um, they're fairly new to the US, so I'm pretty excited because I'm getting a chance to uh, get these and pick them up use them, provide you guys with some video, um, show you guys what they're capable of. I'm really excited about this. So I've got two units that arrived um, that I just purchased that I'll be testing out. The first one's gonna be this NV008S LRF model. Super compact, weighs about a pound, um, actually under a pound. Runs off of an 18650 battery. Uh, very small, compact design. I'll show you that in a moment. And then the other one that I got is the DS35 with the 50 millimeter lens. Gives me a wider field of view, also with an LRF. Uh, traditional scope style, weighs in right about a pound and a half. So the NV008S, inside of it, you're gonna get this nice little carrying case. Your instruction manual with quick QR scans. Inside of the case, you open it up, got your carrying strap, just like you would have for a camera, and a nice soft case. The mount, the mount is in here along with the charging cable. It uses USB-C if you want to charge the battery inside of the unit. And then this is it right here. Nice and compact, super compact style. It has built-in IR with three levels. You've got your laser range finder right here. Flip open cap. You have an adjustable uh, lever right here for your focus. So you can lift that up and make it easier to move your focus. And it actually goes at a 40, 45 degrees or all the way down. Um, 18650 battery mounts right here in the back, power button, some of your function buttons up here. Uh, these all have double function. So you've got uh, zoom in, zoom out. You have uh, range finder and recording. Your up and your plus and minus for your control in the menu, uh, turning on your IR, switching to night vision and turning on your IR, your menu button, all that stuff is all multi-function multi there. Um, this thing is super nice and compact. I love how lightweight it is. Uh, so I'm excited to test this out and bring some some footage to you guys. Again, laser range finder, and it's got the ballistic calculator built into it. So when you're range finding, it'll show you where to aim. If you've got your data put in correctly, it should work really well for you. Moving on to the DS35 with the 50 millimeter lens. Uh, when we open that up, nice little neoprene cover for it. Obviously, you can see it's kind of shaped funky. That's to accommodate covering the LRF and the IR that stick up off the top of the scope. Inside again, instruction manual and your quick card. And packaged in the box just like this. You've got your, your rubber eye cup. I recommend running them on the night visions. They help my um, they help my vision so I can see the picture a little bit more clear. Uh, inside this box here, it looks like this is probably a charging cable and then there's a set of rings in here. Um, it does use traditional 30 mil scope rings where the other, the NV008 uses a mount. Looking at the scope right here, um, you can see that your 18650 battery goes in right on the side here. This just unthreads and it slides in. It sits across the tube there. The top is a, a multi-wheel. So you have your options to run through the menu. You click on it, get into the menu. I'm not positive, but I think that that's also how you zoom on this. Um, I'll find out in a little bit. Looking at the buttons that are on here, there's no zoom, so I would imagine that's that's your zoom right there, in and out. Power buttons on the side. 
Uh, on this side over here, you have your, your memory card slot along with an HDMI output and your charging cable spot for a USB-C. You have your rangefinder button, your video button, and I'm not sure what that one is. I'll let you guys know once I figure it all out. On this one, uh, as you're looking at it, you've got your IR, and then you've got your laser rangefinder. And then if you can see on the lens cap here, it's got that little small hole on it. And when I actually move this lever, you can see that it opened up the that hole. And what that is, is supposed to be an autofocus for daytime use. So you don't have to run the focus ring when you're when you're shooting during the daytime, you can actually just open that up and it will auto focus on whatever distance you're at. So that's a really cool feature. Um, and then obviously it opens up like normal. You can run it open in the daytime if you want and then manually focus. Um, you got a nice big focus throw lever here, or you can obviously for nighttime, you've got to have it open or else you're not going to get enough light quality or light transmission in there. So really excited about both of these. Uh, and the opportunity I'm getting to use these and get some footage. It should be really cool, um, some really good quality stuff. So look forward to getting that out to you guys in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're gonna be heading up to Idaho and doing some rock chuck hunting up there. And I think that there's gonna be some really good footage coming out of these. Anyways, stay tuned you guys. Again, Pete, Pete's Pesting. Like and subscribe to the channel, please. And keep watching for more videos to come and more footage. Thanks guys.